The U.S. Chemical Safety and Hazard Investigation Board has now released its final report on last year's deadly drilling rig explosion in Quinton. That blast, you'll remember, killed five men who are working on the rig in Pittsburgh County. News on 6's Terry Hood joins us now in studio with the details. Terry? Well, Brian and Lori, the final report is pretty technical, but the board says it found nine key problems during its investigation. One of those problems is the failure of both the primary barrier and secondary barrier that are needed during drilling to prevent gas from escaping a well. Investigators say because the barriers failed, there was an uncontrolled release of gas that caught fire. There were 22 workers on the well site at the time, which was being drilled by Houston-based Patterson UTI Energy. Five men were killed. They died from a combination of burns and smoke inhalation. The report also says an alarm system was intentionally disabled, and that allowed gas levels to rise to a dangerous level 14 hours before the explosion. Between OSHA and the state of Oklahoma, we're hoping that we can get some common sense measures passed that are focused on safety because nobody wants to see anything like this happen again. Crescent Consulting and Patterson UTI were both fined by OSHA for violations connected to the explosion. In a statement, Patterson UTI drilling says in part, while we do not agree with all of the findings in the report, Patterson UTI is nevertheless evaluating what additional policies, procedures and training could be implemented to address the key issues raised in the report. Terry Hood, Oklahoma's own News on 6.